Hello friends, welcome to another video of Zeta Axis and today we are going to see visualization of monsoon winds with real weather data to understand how monsoon winds flow over India. Previously, we have done a video on Indian monsoon where through animation we have explained the whole process of Indian monsoon. If you want to check out that video, then the link will be available in the description below. Here, we will be only seeing the real weather data to understand these specific events which occur during Indian monsoon. So the first is jet stream over India in winter. In our previous video, we studied that the jet stream flows over India during the winter season, which maintains high pressure over India. So here is the real weather data. Here we can see that this is the Indian subcontinent which we can see by these thin lines and this is the jet stream which is flowing over Indian subcontinent. Now I want to tell you one thing that the color here does not indicate the jet stream but it indicates the speed of the wind. So this region where there is purple color here the wind is moving with fastest speed and here we can see that this is the jet stream which is flowing over Indian subcontinent. We also see a branch of it that flows like this. So there are this northern branch and this southern branch. Here in this snapshot of the previous video, we can see that this is the jet stream which is flowing over Indian subcontinent and this is a branch which is flowing from the north of the Himalayas. Now let's see another important event of Indian monsoon where the jet stream which are moving south of Himalayas is pushed north of Himalayas by anticyclonic winds during the month of May or June. So in our previous video we saw that the southern branch of jet stream which flows south of Himalayas it maintains high pressure over India not allowing the monsoon winds but an anticyclone develops and this anticyclone will slowly push this southern jet stream north of Himalayas thus allowing these monsoon winds to reach over Indian subcontinent. Now let's see the same event in a real weather data where we can see that these are the jet streams which are flowing over Indian subcontinent. This is our Indian subcontinent. Now slowly over the time we can see that this anticyclone is developing. And this anticyclone is slowly forcing the jet stream to move northwards. We can see that slowly it becomes more and more stronger. And we can also see that winds are now starting to flow in this direction towards Africa. So winds from here in the upper atmosphere is now flowing towards Africa. So this is our easterly jet stream. We can see that this anticyclone has become stronger and it has forced this southern jet stream to move north of Himalayas. Our Indian subcontinent is over here and the Himalayas would be somewhere over this location. So this anticyclone has forced this jet stream to move northwards of Himalayas and here we can clearly see easterly jet stream flowing from over this region towards the African region which is located over there. Now here is a snapshot from previous video. Here we can see that there is this anticyclonic winds and here is the easterly jet stream which is flowing from east of India towards the African region. Here is another snapshot from the same video and we can see these are the anticyclones and the jet stream has now moved much north of Himalayas. And this is the easterly jet stream which is originating from eastern side of Indian subcontinent and flowing towards African region. Now let's see how the jet stream which are forced north of Himalayas during the summer season they slowly move south of Himalayas during the September to October month. So here we can see these are the jet streams which are located north of Himalayas. But during the month of September or October the anticyclonic winds they become much weaker. Now the jet stream it slowly starts to move southwards. We can see that it is slowly descending and this process continues till December. In December, we will see that the jet stream has completely moved south of Himalayas and now it is flowing over Indian subcontinent as we can see in this video. Now let's see the surface wind currents over India in winter. So we have studied that during the winter season, this northeastern winds flow over Indian subcontinent. 
and if we see the data of winter we can clearly see that the wind flows from northeastern direction we can see that different directions are there there are slight variations in the directions in different regions but the wind is moving from northeast towards the indian ocean next we will see the surface wind currents over india during monsoon period so here as we have studied that the monsoon winds they reach indian subcontinent and once they reach the indian subcontinent we see that these winds which are flowing from southwestern direction they flow over indian subcontinent so here is the video where we can clearly see that now the wind is flowing from south western direction and here is the arabian sea branch which moves directly in this direction while here we can see the bay of bengal current we can see that how it is moving parallel to the indian coast over here it reaches over here and then it flows along the himalayas some part of it goes in this direction and some part of it flows over this chota nagpur region now let's see the monsoon trough in the video of break in monsoon we discussed about monsoon trough how it causes break in indian monsoon so in our video we discussed that there is this monsoon trough and it moves north and south so this arabian sea branch moves in this direction while the wind from the bay of bengal branch it moves north of this monsoon trough so here in this video we can clearly see that there is this monsoon trough over here you can see that the wind from the arabian sea branch is coming over here and the wind from this bay of bengal branch is coming over here and they are meeting in this region somewhere and this boundary it keeps shifting the next thing we discussed was rain bearing storms move in this monsoon trough that is the point where they meet a storms are created and these storms they move along this boundary along this monsoon trough so here in this actual weather data we can see that storms are created over here and now it moves along the monsoon trough several such examples can be seen here we can see another storm which is created and it is moving in this direction so this monsoon trough they brings storms and it moves towards the monsoon trough towards this region i hope this actual weather data helps you visualize how different winds flow over india during different situations if you have any doubt you can watch the previous video or you can ask in the comment section if you have liked this video then do subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and if you like what we are doing then you can use the upi id to support us thanks for watching the video